We get asked all the time about where the best condominiums are in Fort Lauderdale. Well, today we're going to present our top picks as well as the different lifestyles you can have to make living in Fort Lauderdale the perfect place for you. Let's get started. So here we are in downtown Fort Lauderdale and my top pick for condominiums in downtown Fort Lauderdale is the newly completed and delivered 100 Las Olas. 100 Las Olas is the tallest building in Fort Lauderdale at 46 stories high. They offer 113 residences that are beautiful luxury residences with windows looking out over downtown Las Olas Boulevard and all the way to the beaches along the riverway. So if you're looking for being in the heart of the dining and culture scene here in Fort Lauderdale, living in downtown Fort Lauderdale would be the absolute lifestyle choice for you with 100 Las Olas being our top pick. The units are starting with a two bedroom unit at a million four, which is $932 per square foot. And the top most valued property right now available in 100 Las Olas is the penthouse. It's a two-story penthouse with 20-foot ceilings encapsulating all of the views surrounding Fort Lauderdale. It is offered at 5950000 with five bedrooms, excuse me, with four bedrooms, four and a half baths. This surely is the pinnacle of living at the height of Fort Lauderdale. The other two buildings that I would like to mention in downtown Fort Lauderdale that should be on your radar for consideration for this lifestyle would be the Las Olas River House and the Las Olas Grand. Living in any downtown area, especially in Fort Lauderdale, is very exciting. The walkability of life in downtown Fort Lauderdale is really on the rise. We've had a 6% increase in the foot traffic for our downtown area since pre-pandemic levels. So that's a 6% increase. This is the highest increase of any South Florida city. And um, this is all according to the Downtown Development Authority here in Fort Lauderdale. So if you're looking for energy and a place to walk, certainly then downtown would be the place for you. Not to mention the river walk. You can lock up, walk along the serene river watching water taxis go by. The river connects to the Broward Center for Performing Arts, which is the cultural epicenter of Fort Lauderdale, as well as meandering along all of Las Olas. So be sure to check out the Riverway when you're coming to Fort Lauderdale. Entertainment in downtown encompasses all sorts. You've got spas, you've got dining, you've got the riverfront, you've got clubs. All of this is in downtown. So, and it's all walkable as well. Next up, what you can obtain for a beach lifestyle. Let's get to it. For beachfront living in Fort Lauderdale, there are three outstanding choices that made my list. The first is Auberge. Auberge is beautiful, iconic architecture with a wonderful north facing tower that cascades towards the beaches. You really feel like you're one with nature when you're living in Auberge. Auberge is directly on the sand. So this is a special designation because the other two buildings or condominiums that I've selected for this list are actually across the street from the beaches and not on the sand. Auberge offers 450 feet of linear beach front behind their building, resort style pools, a Michelin starred chef in their restaurant, as well as a private spa. Auberge is wonderful luxury living with a lifestyle where you feel like you're on vacation all of the time. There is currently a two bedroom unit available on the low side of the units available at 1.9 million. This is $1,041 per square foot, as well as a penthouse at Auberge. This penthouse is a two story penthouse, which offers a private splash pool. It is five bedrooms, five and a half baths for 16 and a half million. And this is $3,300 a square foot. This is the highest price per square foot 
for the um, properties that we are discussing today, but it's certainly one to consider with this level of lifestyle on the beach. Next up, we have the Paramount Fort Lauderdale, which offers luxury living, just 95 units right across from the beach here in Fort Lauderdale. Did you know that our beaches in Fort Lauderdale are now award-winning? We've made the TripAdvisor top 25 beaches for 2022, and the Paramount offers a supreme location, quietly nestled next to the Bonnet House and Gardens, it offers an overview of those gardens when they are having their jazz festivals. So just imagine being on your terrace, listening to the ocean and hearing the music coming up from the gardens. It's just too beautiful for words. They offer 24 hour concierge services, as well as they've opened a brand new Mediterranean inspired restaurant that is receiving rave reviews from everyone that it goes to dine at this restaurant. And Paramount at the beginning price point now has a two bedroom listed for $1,650,000. This is $943 a square foot, as well as a three bedroom unit on the high side for $3 million, and that's going to be $1,239 a square foot. The Paramount has always been a great value for beachfront living, and it's one that you should definitely consider. They have 24-hour concierge services and provide you with all of the right touches so you can feel at home living there at the Paramount. Next up, we have the Four Seasons private residences in Fort Lauderdale. Well, the Four Seasons really does not need an introduction as this brand has worldwide recognition and acclaim as being a hospitality leader in the industry. Our Four Seasons private residences do offer a hotel component, which can be nice when you have some overflow visitors, but the location is centrally located on our acclaimed world famous beaches right here in Fort Lauderdale, and will offer two dining options, as well as a spa, and of course the famous Four Seasons services. There are 90 residences beginning with a two bedroom, currently available for $4,950,000. This is $2,415 per square foot for those of you that are keeping track, as well as a penthouse that is available. It's the last remaining developer penthouse for $14,900,000. That's $2,490 a square foot. It's five bedrooms and six and a half baths with over 6,000 square feet of interior space and over 2,500 square feet of exterior terraces, bringing indoor and outdoor living to a new level of exceptionalism. I would have to say, those of you considering the Four Seasons, this may sound like the price is a little hefty, but I can tell you that the Davis Siddons Group recently sold a unit at the Four Seasons for $3,900,000. Our buyer decided to resell the unit and she was able to obtain a purchase price of over $5 million. So having the Four Seasons branded name behind you really helps to substantiate the purchase prices that you're able to achieve at a Four Seasons. So let's find out why living on the beach is so amazing for your lifestyle and have you check it out to see if it's something that would work for you. Living at the beach in Fort Lauderdale? So what is that lifestyle all about? Well, first of all, walkability. It's a beach for goodness sake. The walkability is going to be a 10 plus, the best you can have. It's all about the outdoors. It's about capturing that beach breeze. If you live on the beach, it's always like being on vacation. It's tranquil, it's peaceful. But now as we move into the entertainment portion of this beach lifestyle, I might reconsider tech tranquil and peaceful as you will be front and center to the Fort Lauderdale air and sea show, which is a dramatic event that comes around every single summer. We also have beachfront music festivals, as well as wine and food festivals. So living on the beach, there's usually some sort of activity that you can um, attend that will keep you well entertained. 
Also on the beachfront, there are vendors that sell the water toys. So if you want to get out there and get your groove on with a wave runner or some such or a, a lightweight sailboat, you can have that option as well on Fort Lauderdale Beach. So, so many options, such a great lifestyle. And the beachfront dining and the village vibe is also one that um, accentuates the lifestyle of living here on the beach. North Beach Village, which is one of my favorite communities, will have the Breakers Avenue, which will convert to an arts and entertainment uh, venue for festivals and things as well. And finally, what's the vibe like? Well, it's the beach. I would love to say it's tranquil and peaceful, like I said, but the atmosphere is charged and it's charged with uh, outdoor energy, sunshine, fun, and water. So if you think the beach lifestyle is for you, I would highly consider Auberge, the Paramount, or the Four Seasons private residences to be your condominium options. So now we come to our third option as far as condominium living here in Fort Lauderdale. So you know we are a water-centric area with our downtown, has the river running through it. We have our beachfront, but we have the third option, intracoastal living. And as locals know, the views from intracoastal waterway living are some of the best in the city. So I would consider these options because they're going to offer you incredible waterway views, beautiful sparkly lights from the city at night, as well as spectacular sunsets. Let's take a look at what those condominium options are. So our first choice for intracoastal waterway living on this list is going to be Aqua Blue. With only 35 luxury residences, large terraces that overlook the intercoastal waterway, the green verdant views of Birch State Park and the Bonnet House, all the way to the ocean. Aqua Blue is not located on the barrier island, but it's well within walking distance. It is near the Galleria Shopping Center, making, of course, all of your shopping runs easy, but the walkability of Aqua Blue is still there as it is nestled near the Sunrise Intercoastal neighborhood with beautiful luxury homes. So if you're looking for a neighborhood vibe, a beautiful modern glass building located on the Intercoastal Waterway and the potential of having a very large terrace with an outdoor kitchen as well as a boat slip, then Aqua Blue would definitely be the selection for you. There is currently on the lower side of valuation, there's a two bedroom unit available for $2,250,000. This is $1,053 per square foot. And this is a large terrace with a $1,053 per square foot, as well as a three bedroom off option that is available for $3.8 million. And this is $1,160 per square foot. So Aqua Blue is one of my top choices. The other two choices that are along the intercoastal waterway are also located on the barrier island with beautiful views of the intracoastal towards the sparkling lights of downtown. They're in the North Beach Village area. These two options currently have no availability, but they should remain on your radar because they're both boutique developments, newer construction. The first one is 321 at Water's Edge, and the second is Adagio. And that rounds out my top three selections for the best intercoastal waterway options available in Fort Lauderdale. So now let's talk about an intercoastal lifestyle and what that means in Fort Lauderdale. You know, Fort Lauderdale has miles and miles of waterways and canal front. But the intracoastal, as we've mentioned before, known locally by everyone to have the best views of downtown and for the sunsets. The walkability along the intercoastal waterway is really going to depend on where you're located. If you're located on the barrier island, you will have all of North Beach Village, which offers that village vibe, as well as a brand new marina coming, the Las Olas Marina, which will offer dining and shopping. So a lot to look at and walk to as far as um, living on the intercoastal waterway. Don't forget, we have an award-winning park, Birch State Park, and the Bonnet House Gardens as well, sort of round out everything, as you also can walk along the beaches. 
So living on the intergostal has many benefits. The other thing in our key points as far as entertainment goes, the intercoastal waterway is home to our Winterfest boat parade. Also the largest in-water boat show in the world, the International Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. And that is something that would surely entertains everyone as we have visitors from around the world coming to attend our boat show. Dining options for the Intercoastal Waterway certainly will include all of our inland dining options. But if you have a boat, you have dine and dock options as well, with Shooter's Waterfront being one of my all-time favorites, as my daughter is a hostess there. The other thing that I would like to mention is the vibe of the Intercoastal Waterway. It is tranquil, but it can be have high activity as well because the Intercoastal Waterway is the highway for all maritime traffic up and down the South Florida seaboard. So if you're looking for a home that can offer you beautiful views, a great vibe, walkability, and the option to get out on the water, then the Intercoastal might be the best selection for you. So thank you everyone for joining me today as we have reviewed our picks for the best condominiums in Fort Lauderdale that offer three distinct different lifestyles. No matter where you want to live, downtown, on the beaches, or along the intercoastal waterway, we've got a condominium choice that will be just right for you. We look forward to hearing from you. This is Elaine Tatum with the David Siddons Group. Call us, WhatsApp us, raise a flag. We're here and we want to help you find the best choice for you. Thank you and have a terrific day.